Hi friends. Please excuse the noise. We live near a motorcycle shop and I can hear one right now, but I mean, hello, we are motorcycle people. My hubby is a motorcycle guy. But yeah, fall's here. We are officially in October. I'm home from the mountains. The mountains were magical. I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you how magical they were. If you want to see the images, you can go on Instagram and follow or not follow, but look up hashtag the mountains are calling retreat and you will see all the magic that happened while Christine and I were there. Please excuse the hair. I'm in the middle of doing an oily treatment, rosemary, cedar wood, and lavender. I do it about twice a month um, because it helps hair growth. And those of you that have been with me for a while know that I had a shaved side shave and it is growing and it feels super slow, but it's there. So I do, I've been doing this from the beginning, basically. I do a lavender, rosemary, cedarwood, basically, for those of you that are interested in hair growth. Um, those are the three oils that you would use for encouraging growth of your hair and just healthy hair in general. So I fill a bottle with basically what I do. You take a dropper and I'm, I'm actually almost done with the one that I'm using. So I'm going to have to do another one. And I dump like half the bottle of rosemary, half the bottle of cedarwood and half a bottle of lavender. And it goes to the top. I don't use a carrier oil and I have a dropper. So I, I section my hair, dropper, full it, drop, 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 massage it into my scalp. My kids give me head massages and it's beautiful and amazing. And yeah, so I really think that that, that plus some of the vitamins um, I take, sulfurzyme, which is a Young Living vitamin that has really helped my hair. Um, and I also do the beach body shakes and I feel like I've seen a difference in that. So those are kind of like the three things I do. I do the oil, the sulfurzyme and the shakes and my hair has been growing more than it usually does. So yay, that's a win. I'm so excited because you guys know I did a quarantine chop. I think back in, it's after my daughter's wedding. So end of March, I would say my daughter got married. March 21st, which I'll put that link down below because you guys can see her wedding video. I don't know that I actually told you that. For those who don't know, I did this whole like video about her getting married or yeah, she was already married. We threw a wedding in 24 hours and people, this is, this is how you know who your friends are. The people that gather within 24 hours and help out to help your daughter have a wedding. Sorry, I do have two dogs and one is a miniature schnauzer and she likes to bark. Anyways, um, this just means somebody pulled down our driveway. Yeah, sounds like UPS, but anyway. Um, you really know who your friends are when they show up within 24 hours and throw, throw a wedding for your daughter because the one that she dreamed of didn't happen. And yet the one that happened was better than the one she dreamed of. It's, it's It was perfect and wonderful. Um, but after that, I chopped my hair off. So anyways, back to what I wanna talk about. I've got my little journal stack here. Do you see this beauty? Can we just talk about this beauty for a minute? Um, I debated what video to do today because I was going to do my September art journal, PhD, wellness, happy planner flip through, but then I'm like, I can't leave them waiting. Like I posted this on Instagram and can I just say, I've had many, a traveler's notebook. This is technically not a traveler's notebook, but it kind of sort of is. It's not. Um, this is my favorite. This is made by Brie from Documented Journey. This is the honey. Can, 
No, this is the honey. Okay, this is the wheat. Can I just take a moment and call out to all of you highly sensitive people out there who have issues with feeling. I haven't tested out the other fabrics, all I've the other corks, all I've tested out is the wheat and honey. The honey is new for this fall. Guys, this wheat, oh my gosh, when it came in, I just wanted, I want this as a pillow cover, literally. I would literally sleep on that. It is that soft. It's like velvety and each piece looks different. And I mean, just the way she does business and the, the place that she gets her materials from, it's all like sustainable. It's amazing. And I can already tell you that if this was a leather pen loop, I would have ruined it by now because I'm very hard on pen loops. And I will confess when I got this, okay, so I ordered, let me just say what I ordered. And Brie has many videos on how to order from her site. I'm so sorry, but we are dog people. So yeah. Anyways, Brie has a lot of videos on her site on how to order. Anything you see is customizable. And I had heard that, but then I messaged her. I'm like, um, so should I message you about what I want or should I just order this such and such and change it to such and such and such and such? And she's like, you know how to order because I like had all that. And I'm like, okay, so what you see, so let's say you see this color with this color pocket and you want a different color pocket. All you need to do is put it in the notes and she has videos on that. I'll try to find them and put them below. But this is the wheat cork. Okay. And I ordered a honey pocket. Okay. I think the one that I officially put in my box or my cart was like a wheat with the skunk, maybe. I don't know. And then I chose, and this is the thing, you get to be the boss with her. Now, when you're the boss, you got to know you're the boss. Okay. So I, or I wanted this folder, which is a separate addition that you have to like add that you want a printed folder. And then I wanted this felt and I asked her, what do you think? Well, this technically, you guys can't really see. Technically it doesn't really match, but I'm not a matchy matchy kind of person. I wanted everything to feel earthy to me. And I know sky is earthy, but I just have a thing with trees. And so to me, hi, I'm doing a YouTube video, but you're good. You're home. Okay. Um, sorry. Sorry. I do have babies. That's my 18 year old. Anyhow, um, I don't even know what I was saying. Oh yeah, you get it, what, huh? Oh, she's taking her dog into her camper. I don't know if you guys, those of you that might be new might be thinking I'm crazy, but when our kids turn 18, or it's just worked out that way, my daughter when she turned 18, we are, we used to live in an RV. We lived in an RV for almost a year have done, even since then, have done lots of traveling and decided to put an RV because all of our, a lot of our friends were full-time travelers. So we actually have an RV hookup next to our house on our property and put an RV there because we only have three bedrooms in here in our little cottage and we have three children. And so when our daughter was 18, she just got to a place where she needed her own space for her friends to come and all that. So we put an RV and she paid rent. I mean, I'd say that, but she did pay rent to get her used to paying rent and got to decorate it her own way, have her friends over, cook for her friends, buy her own groceries. It was amazing. So we've continued with the tradition. So our 18 year old daughter lives at home, but on our property in her own RV. Anyhow, that was a very long ramble, but that's what you get with my channel. So you choose everything. Sometimes Brie might say, can I send you a picture? Just make sure you like it. And you say yes, and she sends it to you. And you look at it and you're like, I know it technically doesn't match because mine, when I saw the picture, I'm like, I know it te technically doesn't match. I know I technically should go with a different color on the inside, like the 
I don't know what she calls it, but like the cranberry-ish wine color or the bluish color or a natural, but you know what guys, I just love the green, okay? So even though technically it doesn't really match, like in person, it doesn't really match. The only one that has to see it is me and I love it. I knew I needed the green because I need the trees. The trees are like my spirit animal, even though they're not an animal. I just get fed from them. I always have since I was a kid, so I needed that green in there. And the reason I went with the fabric I did, because I know I could have gone with something different that had green in it, is it just reminded me of wildflowers. And I just fell in love with, I think this is the, I'm not even gonna say, that, say it because I'm sure I'll get it wrong. But I just love this more than the others. So I chose it. She sent me the picture. I'm like, yes, please go ahead. And I think she was a little worried that I wouldn't like it, but you know what? I'm in love. Okay, so let's talk about the pen loop because that's, I think, where I started. I squirrel, which for those of you that have been following me for a while, you know that. When it came, this is the one thing that I was like, what? When it came, because you choose how you want it. So I chose that I wanted, I chose one with a pocket, changed the color. I chose that I wanted a color on the inside. I chose that I wanted extra strings because usually you pick a folio. So it's a folio, but I got the strings. So you choose the color and obviously I chose green because I'm a tree girl. So I have the string. So I have two inserts in here plus my actual journal. And then I chose a pen loop. When the pen loop came, and this is a 100% honest, <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. This isn't really a review. This is just my, I mean, I guess it technically is because I love her and I'm totally going to be like ordering more. But when it first came, my complete honesty was, why is the pen loop in the front? To be fair, I've only ever experienced one other Traveler's Notebook outside of Midori, which is now Traveler's Company. And that was Chic Sparrow. Not going to go into all that. I know a lot of you guys ask me to go into that, but I'm not out here to create discourse. That's not me. That ship has sailed. We are totally happy and at peace. But when I saw, because I'm only used to pen loops being in the back, I was like, what? Let me tell you. I am so in love with the pen loop being in the front. I'm like, how did not, I not even think of that? Now I have a very heavy pen recommended by Bree. This is a ballpoint pen. I do not sketch with a ballpoint pen. That is Bree's thing. Um, it is not my thing. I tend to be either a fountain pen. I don't sketch with a fountain pen, but I write with a fountain pen in my morning mindset pages. Um, I, when I sketch, you can see I sketch with this pencil, but I do have one on my Christmas wish list that I'm hoping will take the place of this because I'm very nervous. This is my favorite sketching pen at the moment, and it is a Graph Gear 500 Pentel 0.9. I love it so much, but it is not like a normal pencil. Let me see if I have, yeah, here we go. All right. So this is my Energize, the Pentel Energel pencil rather than pen. It's got like kind of a soft ending to it. This thing has this, like, this would cut me. It's very sharp, but because I sketch mostly in this now, since I've fallen in love with it so much, I put my pencil in there and I'm so worried that it's gonna like poke a hole in the bottom. So for Christmas, because I love this thing so much, not because I sketch with it, because I'm not I'm not a ballpoint pen sketcher like Brie, um, my husband, I should have grabbed his thing. My husband actually has the, I got it for him last year, I think. He has the Traveler's Notebook ballpoint pen the traveler's notebook um brass ballpoint pen and it like it's little it's like 
that big from like here to there and it goes on his keychain. He loves it so much and it has patinaed beautifully. He uses it every day with his um, business. And so I told him and everyone in my family that for Christmas I want the Traveler's Notebook ballpoint pencil because I need a pencil with my pen. I journal with this in here. So this sits here and this, for you guys that don't know, this is on Breeze. If you go to her channel and you watch any of her videos, she'll have an Amazon link. I got this from Amazon. It is the ballpoint pen, cheaper than the Traveler's Notebook ballpoint pen, but it is very heavy. It took me a while to get used to because I write a lot. Thus, the reason I don't use this in my morning mindset pages because this is my favorite pen, the Energel. This is the brown that I adore in the fall. It is so light. This thing, like you have to be intentional about what you're writing and it is heavy and I'm afraid it would like hurt my hand if I wrote with it like I do in my morning mindset pages. Anyways, I stuff it in here and I am rough on this pen loop. This thing, if this was leather, I swear to you it would have broken with how heavy this, I mean, you can see how it just hangs because it's so heavy, but it hasn't messed with the cork. And I seriously love when I put the band around it, it like hugs my journals. I have never really experienced that before when the pen loop has been on the back. I am a new believer in putting pen loops in the front because I feel like, I know this is woo woo, but I feel like my pen is like watching out for all of my words. Like it's like hugging them and it's doing so beautifully. So eventually I would love, my husband watches my videos every Tuesday morning as do my children because they tend to work together and they watch it like on their way home or like when they have a break. So FYI, little shout out. Um, this is where I want to put my traveler's notebook brass pencil because I need a pencil and I don't want to tear this amazing work that Brie did in this pocket. Okay. So the wheat is velvety soft. This will probably be a longer video. I should have started with that, but the honey is not. Um, and this is hundred percent honest opinion. I love the honey. I love the look of it together. It looks like a tree and you know, I've already said me and trees have this thing. So I have the green for the trees. I have the green in the middle for the trees. Me and the trees just go way back to my childhood. And so this, just to have the browns and the greens, I just, I love it so much. Um, if I had, and this is total preference, I am a highly sensitive person. So for me, feeling is everything. If my entire notebook, I don't know though, cause it's still soft, but it does have texture. I don't know that I personally as a highly, like I'm an extreme highly sensitive person. So I should probably start with that. Um, I don't know that I would like my entire notebook made out of that, but if you're not a highly sensitive person, you don't have to worry about it. Like I cut, I cut out most of my tags from all of my shirts. Like that's just who I am. Um, this, this right here, I literally want a pillow made out of it. Brie, could you do that? Could I, could I like pay you to make a pillowcase out of this? Cause I literally would sleep on that. Anyways. Okay. This whole video is supposed to be about my setup. So this is my A6 which I've never had before and I'm since in love with. I will, like, I honestly think it's my favorite. I do want another documented journey, which is another Christmas idea because I have my, all my children are super big into Christmas, probably because of me, because it's like my favorite. Um, gifts are my love language. But my one daughter who's 18, the one that just made an appearance, is already done Christmas shopping. I'm like, what? Um, so I love throwing out the ideas. Um, I do want an A5 documented journey folio with strings and a pocket, just like this, but A5. Anyhow, 
Um, so let's talk about what I have inside. So, uh, you know, you guys know I have my brass pen, which I'm in love with. Mine, I've had it now for a month. I don't see a whole lot of patina, but I do see, I have dropped this thing like a million times. So there are dents and dings on it. You're not gonna be able to see in the camera, but I love that. I love that about it. I'm hoping that there are inserts because I do want to continue using it. It's like my new favorite pen and I use this in here almost solely. I do sometimes use my fountain pen, which you'll see. So you open it up. You've got the folio pocket. I don't have anything in there at the moment. I did get the strings. So I have two notebooks on the strings. And then I have my Stology 365A6 in the back, in the back pocket. Um, these notebooks, let's talk about those because I know I'm going to get asked. These are the cheapo notebooks that I bought from Michael's Clearance. It came with regular sized standard and I just chopped them. So if you look really close, you can see, I did not do a very good job, but I literally had like the, the standard from what I understand is the same width, but this actually ended up being a little bit taller. You can kind of sort of see it's a little taller than the A6 Stology, not taller, wider, but I kind of measured it against the A6 to chop it. So I chopped the front and the back, you can see in the middle. Let's see here. So I did it so that the staples would have about the same, and I just eyed it and did it with scissors. I'm not fancy, you guys know that. So the first one, the first insert is random ideas and musings. So what that looks like is just random notes, prompts to ponder, um, books like this right here is a list so I have books to read um books that impacted my life in a huge way 2021 manifesting magic um things I want to collect I have things I want to study and learn more about in 2021 moon phases in 2021 like I have a list and I'm just highlighting it as I go now in the middle same notebook in the middle, I separated it and I have my YouTube ideas, which I'm not gonna tell you guys all. I don't wanna like give away all the secrets here, but I have all of my YouTube ideas for the rest of the year in there. And I will just keep adding, like I even have a list 2021 planner and journal picks, which you guys can't see because I still am not sure what all that's gonna look like, but that's the first insert. Okay, the second insert, which might offend some people. So let's just put that out here. The second insert <coughs> is me and my yapping and like, I need to take a sip of water. Um, I have been, as you guys know, if you've been following my channel since the end of last year, I did buy one of my very first tarot decks and I've been exploring tarot. So the second booklet is a hundred percent all about different tarot spreads that I've found online or Instagram or just from people that I admire. You can see some of them are colored. Sorry, that's my, that's my dog. Some of them are by me. Some of them are by other people. This one's by me, a tarot spread that I did that I, was really impactful for me. Um, and so I just keep track of different spreads from people. And when they mean something, when I've done them, which I've done a lot of these but the ones that really stood out I'll just tell you right now um my dog is going to continue barking until I let him out so I should probably do that okay hang on just a second I am so sorry anyhow currently some of my favorites which I am very new to tarot this is my like I said this is my first experience um one of my goals for in my PhD program for the last 100 days, um, which is gonna be the next video coming up, a flip through of my September section of my PhD art journal. Starting a journal for my current tarot deck so that I can get to know it better is important because I'm, I'm, I'm a newbie. But some of these, like this one, 
was the Getting to Know Your Deck Spread by Cloud Moon Tarot on Instagram. Amazing, 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 amazing. There were, it was seven cards that I pulled. I followed it like she had it laid out. And then in here is where I journaled about it. And then the one I created that was amazing was a two pull, cause I'm new. And honestly, this came about because I literally was, my deck is the one that I'm working with. It is beautiful, it is gorgeous, it speaks to me so much, but I cannot shuffle it worth crap. It is so freaking difficult, but I'm too scared to trim it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I was in the middle of shuffling thinking about this question, which was, I was embarking on a new pilgrimage. And I'm shuffling, 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 and two cards just like fell out. And I'm like, okay, we're just gonna go with it. And two questions immediately came to mind. So I wrote the two questions down and just had it, that's what I, I drew and it was amazing. So this is, I'm calling it my embarking on a new pilgrimage spread by me. And it was beautiful. And I have the notes on that in here too, because it really, really spoke to me. Now, let me, I will pause there to make a disclaimer. I, I'm new to tarot. I have always been very intrigued with earth medicine and earth magic. And ever since I was a little girl, before I was taught what the shoulds are and the shoulds should not be, um, magic was a very big part of my life. Earth magic, specifically. Nature, animals, trees. That's just who I am. So, um, currently, because I'm a newbie, I don't know much about tarot. I do have plans of picking a new deck for 2021. So you guys stay tuned for that. I think I know what I'm going to pick because I think my word for 2021 has arrived, but I don't know for sure yet. So I'm kind of sitting with it. I will share that when I come to it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I view tarot as a friend, a friend that is sitting next to you asking you questions or that you ask questions of, or journal prompts. The prompts that I post on Instagram for those of you who don't follow me, I'm hello blank page, hello blank page on Instagram. Um, what's the difference between the prompts I post and tarot? To me, tarot is like a friend that's asking or answering questions and giving you additional prompts to journal through. To me, the more I discover about myself and my soul, the better human being I become. And so that's my view currently on tarot. I am very new once again. I'm just now entering my practices and I'm excited for everything that I've learned and everything that I still have to learn. Anyhow, so those are those two um, inserts. Then I have my little black book. This is a little black Stology 365 A6 size. And I have it just tucked into the back. So for those of you, I know this is, this is, <laughs> for those of you that came just to see a documented journey, like show and tell, this is way more than you bargained for, but that's just what you get when you follow my channel. Um, that's why my email is rambling Heather, but I ramble in the best kind of ways, right? I have the Stology tucked into the back. And then I have the two inserts on the two threads. When you order a documented journey folio, you can add, I think it's for $5, I could be wrong, the strings, add the strings, add the pen loop. It adds 10 bucks. For an extra 10 bucks, you get this pen loop that literally I feel like cannot be destroyed and two strings that hold extra notebooks. And then I could still put a notebook in here do it. $10. It's $10 extra. Why would you just get a folio? Mm -hmm. um, so FYI, if you're going to get me an A5 folio, hubby, lover, or children, hubby and lover are the same people, just FYI. I should have. Yeah. Um, folio with the strings and the pen loop. Anyways, put in a plug there. So, Little Black Book, Stology 365, A6. I will read you because when I started this, 
let me tell you, originally it was going to be for social media it is not for social media at all. I do have some YouTube in this first one because I said it's like an everything catch all, but this I originally titled sacred fragments, which I did host a course called sacred fragments. It was a journaling course two years ago. Beautiful. Loved it. Might do it again. If people are interested, let me know. Um, it was like a, I think it was a two week course on journaling. Then I put, she might be small. She might be a small little black book, but she holds so many miracles between her pages. So that was there. And then I added, cause how I do things, even in my art journal, which you'll see next week is I kind of move forward and backwards. Like it's this cyclical kind of thing. So when I started, I started with a book. So I wrote a quote from the book I was reading. I did an art piece that you'll see if you followed the Mountains Are Calling retreat. Um, this was a, you'll see all of the drawings of a woman were a whimsical self portrait. I am growing out my grays. So the reason that she has blue hair is because I, I don't know, blue just came out in regards to the gray. Um, but she has this thing over her face. This was very much a self, a whimsical self portrait of myself while I was reading this book. So I have my notes on the book talking about magic being here, prayers, look here. And I date it, I date every entry. So September 20th, this is a prayer. I'm thanking God for that day and asking for help with certain things. Another self portrait showed up again with blue hair because I didn't have gray. Come to find out, Christine had a gray Tombow marker, so I play, got to play with that a little bit, but um, this is talking about manifestation. I felt called to talk about manifestation. I was writing affirmations, but wrote it in a distant way. I wrote it talking about she, and then down here I actually put I, and it's kind of like a poem that I wrote about myself being a manifestation maven. Here is a, one of the man, the things I wanted to manifest is a healthy, happy body. And I scribbled all around it, what that looks like. Um, this is all about the thank yous that happen in the mountains. So I have, thank you for the animal magic. So animal magic that came in the mountains were birds, butterflies, spiders. We did have a couple spiders. It was a teeny tiny one on the hammock that I laid on. And then we had a cricket on top of our, um, wood pile and then I had other magic thank you for all the magic the crescent moon the stars the hot tub fall coffee cups from her my person kava tea that was in the cabinet to help me sleep a headache free day because I struggle with headaches and migraines and all that jazz a night without bad dreams because I had been struggling with bad dreams for a while we made a fire which we, sh we have tried, <laughs> this is our fourth attempt at making a fire and it happened. Um, the fog before we left. So I had a list of all the gratitudes for the mountain retreat in here. And I'm gonna share kind of where this is going here in a minute. Um, September 21st, I woke up and said, no headache this morning. And I kind of gave a little thanks. And then I continued with prayer and confessions um, and just, I answered my own question. I said, this is the most important thing I could tell you. Legacy is everything. And then I went on and just, I journaled what I heard from spirit source. Journaled about the books that I read. And then we celebrated the autumn equinox. And this, you guys have seen, if you watched my friends, friends that journal video. This came from, um, Caitlin Demido. She created the amazing, which was totally a win by the way, incense bottle for my friend. This is some of her photography. It just felt like it went great with our celebration of, um, the autumn equinox. And then I drew myself before I headed home. And this was the new me 
the new whimsical with everything that I've learned and everything I'm bringing home, which I was totally changed by that trip. We came home and we went to one of our favorite, one of my favorite woo woo metaphysical stores. And I picked up this necklace that has an emblem because her, Christine and I chose an emblem or a way to mark the last hundred days in a symbol that we could carry with us. So I chose this and she chose her thing. And I just put those in here. Um, and it's just spiritual ramblings. This here is the tarot deck that I'm currently exploring, the Raven's Prophecy deck that I've talked about before. This is just me rambling about Tombow markers, how they bleed through. This was a spread. This was the getting to know your deck spread that I found. My notes on that. Um, intuitive vers versus mystic. I saw a YouTube video and I did a little note taking. Then this was another spread. This was the, today I drew two cards and it was my notes on the new pilgrimage. And then I added this because this, I had a, I had a, I'm not gonna talk about it in detail because it's super personal, but I had a moment, um, which for those of you who know me, my spirituality really shifted when my, one of our closest friends passed away on a motorcycle. This is one of my husband's best friends and he occasionally shows up for me. I know that may seem crazy and I might lose followers, but he occasionally shows up and gives me messages and I have to mark it in a way that is special. So I marked that in a special way, the message that he sent. Um, so I have poetry and sketches and prayers. That's another thank you prayer. Um, bonding and connecting with your tarot deck. That was a YouTube video that I watched on Instagram. More notes. A new tarot deck. Okay, so this tarot deck, for those of you that want to get into tarot, evidently I started, I didn't start with the wrong deck. I started with the one that called to me, but the original deck that all decks, all books on tarot are basically all books on tarot come from or they reference the Rider Weight tarot deck. So I had to get a Rider Weight tarot deck. I put the info there because I'm comparing it as I learn. So I wanted to document that. Wellness is spiritual. So I kind of talked about wellness here. Um, my name, a lot of people that are into the woo woo, may I say witchy lifestyle changed their names, but I chose to keep my name because my name is very woo woo. I am a wildflower. So I went through and wrote the symbolism and all of that of my name. I did a little sigil exploration. Um, I wrote a letter to September because September left us and October came. This was an experience I had with my son. We actually, We've been looking into getting bat houses and last night we went out under the full moon. Well, okay, so by the time you guys see this, it won't be last night because I always post on Tuesdays. I'm filming right now on Saturday, Friday, Friday. Um, but we had a very interesting bat experience and it was beautiful and it was freaky and it was beautiful. So I drew a bat and I didn't do watercolor. This is actually, I burned my releasing letter under the full moon and that's the ash that I colored him with. And I, I just journaled about it. And then I joined the full moon in Aries by Sage Goddess, her little gathering to make, um, we actually made this amazing honey. So if you guys don't follow the Sage Goddess and you're interested in astrology and gems, follow her. She's a beautiful human being. Um, I took notes on our gathering. She also had a printout. All of this was free, by the way. So I did the printout. I made my honey. It was 
it was just, it was an amazing gathering. So I have that in here. And then we come to today, because I, I literally am in this every day. Um, and this is just kind of documenting about last night, my journey. Today I had a magical experience. My car freaking like, I had an issue with my car. And I did a breath prayer, which I learned from my, from my spiritual director, Christine. It's not like a learning thing you have to do, but it's a, you know, when you pray, you're very aware of your praying. But then there are moments where, especially moments of panic, that I literally thought to myself, please just let me find someone. And it was in my breathing. It wasn't even a prayer. And I found these two guys that were there, thank goodness, that helped me and it was amazing. And so I, I journaled about that. Um, yeah, so I turned to the front again while I was in the mountains and here's what I said. And I know this is forever long. I said, why is it that only witches keep a book of shadows? Can't mystics, Christians, Muslims, Jews keep a record of their spiritual and sacred miracles and wonders? Consider this my book of shadows, or rather my book of secrets. For it holds all my magical and mystical breath, breath prayers and spells. So that is what, that is what I have in my A6 documented journey folio. I'm sorry if this was TMI for a lot of you that just found my channel that just wanted to see a documented journey folio, but this is the way I do my channel. I am very intuitive and just go with the flow with dogs barking in the background. So until next time, enjoy your wild, sexy lives.